Before we begin any cardio or strength training routine, we need to warm up. Warm up should be the first thing you do, and it doesn't need to take a long time. So let's get going. Hello and welcome to Misfit Strength and Balance video series. We are in the beautiful state of Arizona and I'm with my friend Sandy, who will be assisting me in all the modified moves we're doing today, and our friend Maddie, who's on your right, who will also be joining us. So before we get started, we always warm up those muscles. And before we begin, let's just roll back those shoulders so we have nice, beautiful posture and a nice, clean airway. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing is really important through these exercises and I'll be walking you through it. So before we begin, let's just go ahead and march. We're nice and tall, pull in that navel towards your spine so we can have a nice strong frame. We warm up to prevent injury. In three, two, one. I'm going to step to the side with a punch. It looks like this. One, two. One, two. You guys can join me. Excellent. Open up that chest. Let's do two more. One more. Excellent, let's just march. We're gonna do that again. Put those hands on your hip and we're gonna step to your left and right. Two more. Last one, add that punch. Last time, excellent. Go ahead and keep marching. You're doing great. We're gonna do something called half jacks and it looks like this. Last one. Now we're gonna reach across, it looks like this. One more each side. Excellent, go ahead and back to marching. You're doing great. So let's start marching wide, continuing that march. Go back narrow. One more time, let's go wide. Get those hands on your hip and go ahead and kick those heels to your glutes. That would be your backside. Three more, each side. And stop, very good. Keeping those legs wide with a slight bend of the knees, we're just gonna hinge forward with a flat back, stretching your hamstring that's behind your legs, Come all the way up tall, squeeze those glutes at the top. Let's repeat that three more times. One more time. Beautiful, you can bring those legs together. We're gonna do forward swimmers. Nice and easy, warming up those shoulders. One more each side. Beautiful, let's do a backstroke. So it's like you're Slicking back your hair and tapping the back of your leg. Nice and slow and controlled. One more each side. Beautiful. Now let's get to the left side of our chair. Again, let's roll those shoulders back. You have your right hand on your chair. Your left hand is on your hip. So starting with that outside leg, we're gonna lift up and open for four.
One more to mix four. Beautiful, just shake that out. You might feel that on your standing leg and that's perfectly fine. Okay, with that same leg, you're gonna bend that outside knee up and swing back, squeezing the glute in the back. Bring it up and squeeze. Two more. Beautiful, go ahead and shake that out. With that same leg, you're gonna point that foot forward. We're gonna do a straight leg lift and then a lateral lift. You go as high as you feel like you're able to. Holding that navel in, standing nice and tall. One more. Beautiful, go ahead and shake that out. With that outside arm, you're gonna come forward. Get your right hand on that chair. You're using your arm for balance. You're gonna sink into your heels of your feet, okay? We're gonna come down in a two pulse. It looks like this. One, two, and up. Squeezing the glutes at the top. For those of you who can't go that low, Sandy will be just doing a very modified move, a modified squat. Here we go. One, two, and up. Again, one, two, and up. One more time. Excellent, let's go up and over, stretch out those obliques. All the way down, you're gonna feel that beautiful stretch. And come back up, and let's do that again. That arm comes forward for balance. You're gonna sink down at those heels for a two pulse, and come straight up. Excellent, two more. Last one. Up and over, just enjoy that stretch. Beautiful, now let's get to the other side and we'll do it again. Okay, now we're to the right side of your chair. Let's just roll those shoulders back again, remembering to keep beautiful posture. Go ahead and put your left hand on that chair. Your right hand is on your hip. We're gonna lift up that knee and open up the hip. Okay, just like that. Let's do it for four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Go ahead and shake that out. Excellent, with that same outside leg, you're gonna lift that knee up, down, and back. Up, and back. Squeezing that glute at the top. Beautiful. We got one more. Excellent, go ahead and shake that out. You're doing great. With that same leg, you're gonna go ahead and point that foot forward. We're gonna do a straight leg lift forward and then a straight lateral lift. Here we go. Try to stay nice and upright. Pulling that navel to your spine so we're nice and strong. Two more. Last one. Feeling that burn on that standing leg? Go ahead and shake that out. You're doing terrific. All right, so we're gonna do that squat from this side of the chair. You're gonna bring that outside arm forward for balance. Remember, you're sinking into the balls of your feet, excuse me, the heels of your feet. We're gonna go down for a two pulse. And up, here we go, let's do six. Give me one more before we do that oblique stretch up and over. Take that beautiful stretch and come back. Excellent, let's do that one more time. Bring that arm forward, sink into your heels, two pulse, and up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Last time. Beautiful, excellent. So let's get behind our chair and we'll continue this warm up. One of the biggest reasons we are working on strength and balance is that we wanna be able just be upright. In my, in, with my clients, I say, let's keep it vertical, right? We don't wanna be horizontal, we don't wanna fall. So we always wanna test our balance and work on it all the time. So just before we get started on these exercises that I'm gonna do behind the chair, I want you to have light fingertips on that chair. I want you to lift your left leg, one hand, and two hands. Okay, you're gonna feel your 
ankle turning, your toes are trying to grab the floor, your calf muscles are moving. This is you trying to stay balanced. You might struggle and have to grab your chair and that's okay, but work on it. Let's do the other side. Lift up that right leg, one hand, and then the other. You might find that one side's easier than the other, and that's very normal, but work on that. Make sure you have a chair or a buddy or even a kitchen counter because that's really the perfect height. Okay, so let's begin. Your toes are pointing towards me. Light fingertips on that chair. We're gonna come up on a two count and down. Up onto those twos, one, two, and down. One, two, up, and down. Beautiful. Two more. Last ones, I'm gonna challenge you. Go ahead and get onto those toes and stay there. And we're gonna pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, go ahead and point and flex. Release that muscle, excellent. Now I want you to stand wide, your toes are out. This is called the plie position. I want you to imagine that you have an imaginary wall behind you. Very light fingertips, because I want you to concentrate on your legs, not your hands, right? We're gonna sink down again into our heels and then come all the way up, squeezing those glutes. For a more advanced move, when you come up, you'll come up onto the toes. Maddie and I will be doing it that way. Here we go. Sink down, up, up onto our toes. Again, if that's too difficult, then you just go down and up. Beautiful. You're doing great, don't give up. Last one. Excellent, go ahead, bring those legs in. So I want you to have enough room to swing that leg between yourself and your chair, okay? So I call it the clock swing, and it looks like this. Coming across forward and out, and just nice and easy. Just opening up that hip, the hips and the hip flexor. Last one. Beautiful, go ahead and shake that out. Let's do the other leg. Here we go. Just swing it nice and easy in front of you. Keep breathing. Give me one more. Excellent. All right, hang on to that chair. Step back with your left foot. Press the heel down into the ground, stretching out that calf muscle. Your back is nice and tall. You should always hold a stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. Should feel pretty good. Okay, bring that back up. Step back with your right foot. Press that heel to the floor. Nice and tall back. And release. And our last standing exercise, go ahead and hang on to that chair. You're gonna walk back, drop your ears between your arms. Nice flat back and breathe. Breathe in through the nose and out through your mouth. Just enjoy that stretch. Stretching out your back and shoulders. And carefully walk your feet back to the chair. Let's continue that warm up from our seated position. We're in our seated position. I need to tell you that you should always have a nice hard surface chair. I don't want you in your lazy boy or from your sofa. You need to have a nice hard surface. So we're gonna put our arms east and west. Our palms are down. We're gonna do forward small circles. And reverse. And eight, beautiful. Let's get those thumbs down and up down and up. Really exaggerate that shoulder, warming them up, making sure there's no injuries. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's cross those arms in front. Open up the chest, squeezing the orange between your shoulder blade, okay? Cross, cross, open. Cross, cross, 
open, cross, cross, open. This time we're gonna cross. I'm gonna show you the palms of my hands and open and hold, opening up that chest. Let's do it again. Cross, cross, palms towards me, hold that pose. Very good, one more time, cross, cross, open. Very good, go ahead and just hang those arms. Let them lie loose and rest them on your lap. I want you to do nice big head nods. It looks like this, up and down, nice and slow. We're gonna travel to the right side of the room. We're gonna stay right there with your left fingertips. Give yourself a little tap and release. Go ahead and nod all the way back. Coming center again. Travel to the other side of the room. And now face the other way with your fingertips. Just give yourself a little tap. And release. Go ahead and nod back nice and slow. Excellent. And stop center. Roll those shoulders back. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Let's keep those shoulders down, okay? Come center, chin to chest. Come center, opposite ear. Come center all the way up. And come center, beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and lift our hips, do, do a hip walk all the way across this chair. Really lift your hip, I want you to travel across that chair. Make those knees wide with a flat back you're gonna hinge forward, stretching out your inner thighs. Now for a deeper stretch, you will be pushing those knees open. Go ahead and tuck in the chin, round the back, and roll it up nice and slow. <sighs> Beautiful, let's do that one more time. Nice flat back, hinge forward, stretch out those inner thighs. Tuck in that chin, round the back, roll it all the way up. Beautiful, go ahead and zip those knees together. You're gonna extend your right leg, toes to the sky. I want you to just go ahead and shake it out. We're really gonna loosen up that hip. Hang on to your bent knee, toes to the sky. You're gonna hinge forward towards your straight leg, just like this. I want you to, to relax. You're gonna feel that all the way down your, your glute, to the back of your thigh, all the way down to your knees. Try to imagine that muscle just melting away. And carefully come up and release, very good. Let's extend that other leg, toes to the sky. Go ahead and give it a little shake. Shake out that hip. And stop center. Grab onto that bent knee, and with a flat back, we're gonna move forward towards the straight leg. If you have lower back, issues that it's usually the hamstring that's the culprit. This is a really good way to relieve that pain. And go ahead and release, excellent. Let's just jog that out a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and come all the way back. You can rest on that backrest. It would be one of the only times I allow you to rest on that backrest. Pull in your right knee and rotate that ankle. And point and flex. Excellent, put that down. Let's do the other side. Nice and tall with your back. Circle around those toes, point and flex. And go ahead and put that down. Excellent. So extend those hands. I want you to flex your hands, holding up that wall. Just really straighten out those arms. Hold up that wall. That's good. Now point those fingers down. Feel that stretch. Two more, just like that. One more. Point those fingers down. Excellent. Go ahead and just give me nice, small figure eights. Now let's open and shut those digits, okay? Open and shut. Then if you can, you're gonna touch the end of your fingertips, the very tippy tops, all the way down the line. 
So it's excellent if you have arthritis or just preventing arthritis. Hold those open. Let's fold those thumbs in and out, in and out. And let's shake those arms out. All right, I think we're warmed up and ready for our strength training. 